TGM Production present. Vivian, I welcome you to the third channel if you're watching this on YouTube. Hello, welcome to the brand new edition of Take, Take, da, 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 Take, Take Two. So, Take Two is the brand new podcast. Not brand new as in, oh, Tom's got a new podcast. No, we've renamed the podcast, the TV critic, to Take Two. Just because I wanted a universal term that was media related so I could talk about TV and film. So the next episode is all gonna be about Boy Peter. I have to actually write the thing because it's gonna directly lead into a sit into a documentary called Here's What I Made Earlier. So today we're gonna to talk about Clark. Now Clark isn't a family friendly programme, so some of the to I'm gonna try and make it as family friendly as possible. Now for all you budding uh, all you Tom Mason fans out there will know I have a YouTube channel called Taskmaster World. I interviewed a lovely lady on there called Babin Larson, who is the Swedish Taskmaster from Bestie Test. So, why do I bring her up on the podcast? Well, she was in the Netflix original, Clark. All about the Swedish, um, what Wikipedia calls celebrity gangster, which I'm still quite unsure what we're uh, gonna c- what what links to the words celebrity gangster. What is justified by celebrity gangster? Obviously, we know what justifies as a gangster, but what about celebrity gangster? Who knows? Anyway, so she stars in Clark. She's in episode five. If you wanna go watch the program, if you wanna watch the program, it is available in dubbed, but I recommend you watch it with subtitles. Uh, spoilers will be ahead. For what's about to happen. It's I think it's an eight episode program. Might be six. But I think it's eight. It's about Clark Overson, who was the who was the origin of Stockholm Syndrome, which was a bank robber in Stockholm. Obviously it's a place in between. Um he was in prison or, so as a child he didn't have a great upbringing, so no wonder he went into the life of crime. Um he did a lot of robbing. He was very popular. I think that's why they go. I'm going to try and make his family friendly as possible. So elements of the show I won't be mentioning because we all know I'm a family friendly YouTuber slash podcaster. So I want to keep it as family friendly as possible. So the program works in a sense of it's a mixture of of vintage footage from the time of it happening mixed with modern day footage now the bloke that plays Clark played Pennywise in the It 1 and It 2 so if you know the actor's name do let me know in the comments down below because I think I know his name but he's Swedish so it's like the pronunciation I don't want to get wrong or anything so Clark Holverson is the main character and I'm quite glad I've got that right because when I'm telling people uh, to watch Clark, I'm saying watch Clark, watch Clark, watch Clark, watch Clark. It's called Clark Overson, and I never got his name right until now. I got his name right until now. Clark Overson, da la da la do boo. The police, uh, a bloke called Tommy, is heavily, heavily, heavily after him, like literally has risked his whole career to chase after Clark. Uh, Clark has been in prison multiple times, been in um, like prison where he's on his own, prison where he's with everyone. He started a riot. Now, I didn't, I didn't quite understand the riot bit, because when he started a riot in the prison, he made them all not eat food, and obviously you can't live without eating. So it didn't obviously go to plan. Well, he did but not for Clark. So Clark, on a hunger strike, is what it was, he would eat and eat and eat. I think, if my memory serves me right, the Stockholm Syndrome event happened in 1973. So he has been a criminal years before. And he got his girlfriend at the time to bring him the food, and his mum 
was proud. I think the, his mum was only proud of him because he became famous. I think there's a difference because parents don't want children to become murderers, robbers, gangsters, celebrity gangsters, as uh, Wikipedia likes to call it. I don't trust everything Wikipedia says, so I'm hesitant to know what a celebrity gangster is based on what Wikipedia wants to tell me. Uh, he's, still a, he's still alive. He lives in Belgium. Um, so, obviously, he must have seen Clark. He must have thought he was incredible because the boy that plays Clark in the series looks really like Clark Overson, the actual human being. And I just think the series is immaculate. There's nothing I can say that's terrible about it. Apart from what happened in the program, as in, like, the stuff that Clark did, obviously, was deemed terrible, but in my eyes, it wasn't a terrible program. Babylon Larson was in it and was perfect in it, so I've got a good feeling she's got a, a whole acting career coming for her, and I mean, she might have already had an acting career, I'm not too sure, but I reckon she will become the next famous actor, and the next Swedish breakthrough actor, and will have her own Netflix original, even though she wasn't this Netflix original. The way they filmed it was they had so there's a scene where they're in the car. They're in a car, right? So it cuts to him in a car and this is like just before he goes in to speak to the uh, bang robbers that's got the people held hostage. So he sat there in the car and it cuts to a, a vintage clip of what it of what the uh, the voice of the people the commentators, the news reporters that were actually reporting at the time the crowd that were actually there and they get to the window, and you don't see the actual people, you see the cast from the Netflix version, which I thought was incredible. It's incredible! It's incredible! It's incredible! It's incredible! So I've been listening to Kermode and Mayor Takes, which is their brand new film TV podcast. Uh, after they left BBC Radio 5 Live. And obviously, I've been inspired to... Well, obviously, I changed the name before I found out they, what they called their podcast. But I've been listening to it. I've been watching it, because he uploaded them on YouTube as well. So I am... Le- I am... Ham? I am learning the best way to review films and TV from a film reviewer, Mark Kermode. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So, with Stockholm Syndrome being this like, not what everyone thought it was, you you realise that the crime the committed wasn't Clark Overson, which is quite weird, because they all called him Stockholm Syndrome, even though Clark Overson didn't actually commit the bank robber that was uh, talked about on the show. So the bank robber that was talked about on the show was Clark's friend. Clark's friend, don't remember his name, sorry to apologise. Clark's friend was the mastermind behind the murder, I mean, not the murder, the rob of the bank, but decided to be inspired by Clark, so obviously there's a there's a bit of a overlap there. But with this, it causes a few problems. It causes a problem that they end up... He, I don't know what's wrong with Clark. There's, there's a few things wrong with him as a person, because he flew to... Spain, I think it was Spain, at uh, one of the episodes, and he, he was on the front cover of a few magazines, so obviously the Swedish police are going to c- catch him that easily, and they caught him easily. Uh, he escaped the prison again, he was a very good escape artist, making a rake, and turning the rake into ladders. Very clever man. And then, he turns, he tur- he turns up somewhere else, and gets arrested somewhere else, because he becomes famous in those countries. So, I think I've worked out where the celebrity bit comes from. But the gangster bit, I don't know. But his friend and Clark went to uh, go and rob another bank because he thought, we need the cash, let's go and rob a bank. And then ended up robbing, his friend ended up letting the bomb off by accident. Um, That wasn't the cleverest of moves. But he did flock to Belgium to start a new life and not become a robber, but... Not everything turns out well because obviously past mistakes still haunt him and he hasn't been caught for everything he's done. So, there you go. This has been my 10-minute review of Clark 
all episodes are available on Netflix around the world. It's a Netflix original. You can watch it with subtitles and in dubbed if you wish. I do recommend watching it with subtitles. I'm not recommending dubs because you want to hear Babylon Larson's original voice. Or if you want to hear Babylon Larson talk to me in English about Taskmaster uh, Sweden, go and check out uh, Taskmaster World, the podcast over on Taskmaster World. But thank you guys for watching. I highly recommend it. I couldn't recommend it any better. Welcome back to Take Two, the uh, film and television podcast. Hopefully you enjoy the video version over on YouTube and on Spotify. Obviously, the last episode I uploaded was a re-upload from was my uh, Disney Plus Day special, which was episode 3, but it was a video edition for the Spotify listeners, just so I could see how it all works. But thank you guys for watching. Time on time out. Remember, keep watching and reviewing. Thank you. Bye.